Hey guys, Josh here with Weekend Angler out on the Ohio River again here in uh, southern Illinois. Just down from the J.T. Myers Dam, launched out of Shawneetown. I've uh, got my cousin Corey with me today from East Tennessee. Been taking him out today trying to catch some catfish and uh, trying to make a catfisherman out of him. So uh, guys stick around, we did come up with some fish today. I think you're going to like it and something just jumped right in front of the boat. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I didn't see it, but I heard it. <laughs> we don't have a net. We have no net challenge right, today. No, we've got a net. Hold on, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. He hit like a ton of bricks. Drifting cat. He's still pulling drag. We're getting ready to see him. I bet he's about 15 or so. No, he ain't even that. Yeah, God, give me two of them. What? I said, yeah, God, give me two of them. Here, hold that real quick. I'll get him. I'm on. I ain't got no net today. Let's see here. Oh, what's on this one? That's a little blue, though. Yeah, that's a blue there. Fish? Yep. Got him? Yep. <laughs> Alright all right, guys. We're gonna have we have double we have okay, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. See you buddy. I got him. Fish? I don't think this is a fish. No. Nope. That's still a fish? This? Yes? Yeah. 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 Get that rod tip up, he's gonna run. As we sit on anchor this morning for a minute. Oh, Corey, you got much better one there. I did it! Woo. Chods and fish! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. You look nothing like a cat. There you go. Sweet, here we go. Just grab him right up underneath the belly. Support him. There you go. Hey, good. You won't. That works too. <laughs> I usually let him go a little easier than that. He's fine, but I usually let him go a little bit easier than that. All right, let's see. We broke one off, but that's fine because we've got. We've got uh, one that I just rigged. That was all shed. Ooh. That's what we want, guys. Those are chunky little things. That's good, healthy cats. Hi, right, guys. We're, uh, like I said, we're out here drifting today on the Ohio River, just down from uh, J.T. Myers Dam, just upstream of the confluence where the Wabash flows out into the 
we've uh, we spent the morning anchored up. Didn't have nary a bite, and uh, we uh, got out here, started drifting. We're out here on the uh, the main channel of the river. We're down about uh, anywhere 30, 35, 40 feet, depending on what what we've been running through here. Uh, just dragging some Carolina rigged shad with a, uh, let's get this back in here real quick. And we'll get one more bite. There's the one I just rigged. There was obviously a school of catfish there, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we can actually. Them, what was making them hold up there? What was it? Just, something, they'll they'll find a spot that they like. Now whether there's a, there might be a depression down there that they were, well, I, yeah, I can something to, this. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, there's something, something in there. Something in there they like. Let's get a... Here's another shad here. We got one moon eye, guys. We got caught one at the boat ramp. And uh, we'll mess with that thing later. I've got it alive back in the live well. So, uh, we get this up. I'll show you guys what we're doing rig wise here while we're getting everything going and uh, we got longer leader today since we're dragging we got peg float bring it up down here sink or slide this is a, a boneheads dragon weight here this one happens to be a one and a half ounce and uh, we're just gonna put this out Let that get sunk down to the bottom and we'll uh, keep it going here and now we've had two back to I mean really back to back hookups you might as well consider that doubles uh, we're still running over some more fish down that way so we'll we'll try to do that if we if we don't hook up we'll give a little bit further we'll go back up and hit and, and run this drift again maybe just a little bit further out and see if we can find where the fish are holding up but that ain't bad. That's two uh, two quality fish here, you know. Within, well, you guys saw a minute of each other, so we'll we'll let those bump down there and see what we can come up with. We've got two rods suspended so far. We ain't seen nothing on those. I have some uh, some skipjack that I caught earlier in the year, and uh, we've got those on the two suspend rods pulled them out of the freezer this morning just to I didn't have a whole lot of bait in the cooler so we'll we're working an area just like I said working this main channel I've got the trolling motor just down on one just to keep the boat steered in the direction I want to go keep everything from coming around on us but hey two fish right here back to back uh, got my cousin Corey with me today out here catfishing uh, a lot of you uh, East Tennessee guys probably know him uh, musky fisherman down there uh, damn good at it too so uh we're out here catching slimy fish today he don't like to touch them and uh i'm getting over it i've i've heard stories that he don't like to touch them so uh i think they're beautiful animals that are quite disgusting when they're out of the water <laughs> <laughs> well, we like them don't we guys i i y'all will see you here just a little bit we're gonna get everything lined out and uh get our get the boat straightened out here get our drift going we're getting ready to come into a bend and uh looks like we've lost a couple feet of depth so uh let's we'll see what goes on that one keeps bumping around but that's a whisker whisker whip and that's those are a little bit harder when you're when you're dragging to tell whether they've got a fish or not but that's been our only break off so far we've drifted a good half mile with only only one break off probably two or three snags the other snags came right out so uh not too bad at all here especially with my track record on drifting so We'll see you guys here just a little bit. All right, guys, we're done with the first drift. We're headed back up towards the uh, lock wall there at the dam. Uh, we've come up with two really nice blue cats out here, uh, post-spawn blue cats out here feeding on that main channel flat. And uh, we're just going to go back up, try to find a little bit deeper water and uh, see if we can't come up with some more. We know they're biting up in that area. So uh, once we've got that zone, we found some fish. We're going to try to target that a couple times, see if we can pull a few more off. But uh, we'll see here just a minute. We're going to run up there to the face of the, or up there closer to the dam and uh, try it again. Oh, don't tell me this. Yep, that's what I thought. I found the grips. Yeah. We 
we've got them now. They were in that bag and I forgot about them. Yeah. Just push that one. Oh, come on. No, he's there. He's there. He's not very big. Oh, I got another line too. Oh, it's a drum. That's what. Guys, another drum. I knew he wasn't biting like a. It's a Gasper goo. A Gasper goo. That's what Dad always. Another drum, guys. Looks just like the one from uh, video week four last or whatever. So let him go. He definitely ain't what we're after. He went along for the ride for a minute. All right, guys. Barring a hookup during this, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and call it for the day. Uh, we caught those two nice blues earlier this morning on that first drift. Uh, turned around, went back through the same spot, and caught that one drum. Uh, guys, this three past three trips out here, I've caught a drum about that size. Uh, again, they're they're fun to catch, but it wasn't what we were really looking for today. But uh, got out here, got to do a little bit of moving fishing. That's something that I don't I don't do enough of. I'm sure uh, it's not something that I have a whole lot of confidence in, and that's simply because of how much time I spend just snagged up anytime I try to do this. But uh, weight of the day was a was a one and a half ounces of boneheads dragon weight and uh using that there's just enough weight to get us on the bottom and uh not enough to keep it pinned down there so that it couldn't couldn't move plus it's got a very low profile when it goes through the water and it's flexible it so i started using those i'm not getting hung up nowhere near as much as i was it actually makes drifting a little bit more enjoyable when you're not spending all your time retying but uh i don't know would have liked a few more fish today, but uh, I also would have liked about maybe 10 degrees cooler and uh, some wind and some clouds, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. So guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. Appreciate you sticking around. I uh, hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you would. If you're on a mobile device, hit the little bell. It's located on your lower right-hand corner of your screen. and That'll give you a notification anytime I post a new video or go live. Guys, the... Uh, we believe that the uh, blue spawn is pretty much over. That means these uh, blues are going to be on fire. We're also going to be trying to do some flathead fishing because we're moving into the time of year where those should be pretty active. We should be able to target those and uh, we're probably going to be doing that in rivers like the Big Muddy and the Kaskaskia. That's two bodies of water that you, you guys have never seen me fish before. And uh, so we're going to give that a shot, see what we can come up with. And, uh, I'm gonna finish up here. We're gonna get back on the trailer, get in the truck, turn the air conditioning on, cause it is hot today, I'll tell you that for sure. So uh, I need one of those tops, I need one of those big umbrellas or something. There's somebody up the up the river there, they just had two of those big patio umbrellas in their boat and they were sitting in the shade and probably making fun of me for not. But all right guys, till next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching Weekend Angler.